Yama is in Eldred. I believe it's with the Juakali sector workers. Are they planning for their retirement? Is that, you know, even a sector where you think about uh, issues like retirement? Wanyama, is that something they talk about, consider, think of? Uh, Yvonne, clearly, as, some have, as I've been trying to talk to some of them, uh, clearly, it is not even part of their discussion. They are not even thinking about it. And some of them are saying they are not planning to retire unless it's sickness or they just die. They are not having such a plan because you remember their job is mainly just a hand to mouth. And they're saying they, there is no way they can even have an idea, Yvonne, of planning for such. As you clearly, you can see my cameraman as is showing you, they, this is what they do each and every day, Yvonne, and they are saying, what if, when will they even start saving, just to imagine, just that they can start saving, maybe to start, maybe uh, to save for their uh, retirement. Let me talk to this guy clearly, as you can see. Ndugu yangu unaitwa nani naona unachapa kazi kweli una mipango yoyote kweli ya kustaafu na ukistaafu umepangia nini ukistaafu Hapa hii ni sekta ya jua kali Na sekta hii ya jua kali hii ni kama shamba ya kulima juu ya mawe Mambo mengine ni muhimu lakini jinsi ya kufikia inakuwa vigumu sana Kama hiyo unauliza ya retirement wakati mwingine hata kupata ya kutosha kwa tumbo mbali na kuwekeza inakuwa ni shida kubwa sana Sasa ni kubabana tu mahali Mungu atakuweza kutobokea ana kutobolea huko ndo unasonga mbele. Uko na mipango yote ya kweli ya kustaafu? Mipango ya kustaafu hakuna kama bado tumbo iko hapa. Unabambana na kazi mpaka wakati ambapo utaona wewe nguvu imekuishia. Kama sekta hii ambayo tuko sasa, jua kali na sekta nyingi sana. Sasa hii ni ile sekta ambayo inahitaji roho juu. Hii ni ya blacksmith. Tunabambana na chuma hivi mpaka wakati wa mwisho. Yeah. Nam. Uh, Yvonne, as you have heard, they're saying he will do it until the last minute. My brother, come here. What is your unaitwa nani na pengine? Wewe kazi hii nimekuona hapa miaka mingi. Una matumaini yoyote ya kustaafu? Je, una mipango yoyote? Umepangia nini kustaafu? Kwa majina anaitwa Mako wako ama OGS. Lakini kustaafu kwa size ya tuwezi tukastaafu. Manake, kama sisi vijana wazee wenyewe wanatuomba sisi vijana kazi. Wazee wenyewe watastaafu aje ndio sisi tufike vijana tumestaafu. Tutastaafu wakati ambapo Kenya ita value kazi ya kila mwananchi. Ambapo kazi ya mjengo mtu anafanya kazi ya mjengo, kazi ambapo anafaa lipo shilingi elfu moja, analipwa shilingi mia ine. Ule atastaafu aje. Lazima kila mwananchi kazi yake iko iko valued. Kama ni mjengo, kama ni juakali, kama ni nini ama nini kazi iko iko value ndo ambapo at least kila mtu akienda kusaafu anapata kuna kitu kwa mfuko ambapo ataenda asaidia hata familia ama ambapo atatulia kwa size hatu hizi staff kitu ninazofanya ustaafu size ni kifo kama si kifo uweze kustaafu manake mzee nyumbani anakuomba kijana wewe kazi wewe mwenyewe haja staff wewe kijana utastaafuaje Mtu ambaye na staff ni ambaye ameandikwa kwa government. Huyo ndo mtu ambaye anaweza ka staff. Maana kazi yake iko valued. Lakini sisi kazi ya huku nje wale wananchi wa chini, kazi yao yuko valued hata sekunde moja. Atungataka report ifikie our president, our vice president, our governors and ministers ambapo tunataka kazi ya mwananchi wa chini iko iko valued ambapo pia kistaafu atakuwa anaweza ji benefit na anaweza ji value thank you thank you even let me talk to the chair chair person especially you are kali chair person in this area mzee angalia kamera wewe umekaa hapa kwa miaka mingi uko na mipango uko na mipango yote ya kustaafu mipango ya kustaafu hakuna kwa sababu hii kazi unafanya mpaka dakika ya mwisho either kifo kutoa ama ugonjwa ya pili sisi kama jua kali wale watu government officers wale wanalitaya wote wanakuja jua kali iwe ni police officer iwe ni jeshi iwe ni ps hata wabunge hata ba, ba mcs wakishindwa kuchukua uhitiketi wanarudi wanafungua jua kali utakuta wengine wamefungua mahoteli wengine wanajaribu kazi na ile pension ni wanapewa hiyo pension ndio wanakuja nayo jua kali na I'm sorry kusema kwamba kuna wengine wanakuja nayo jua kali wamelipwa pension na wanamaliza na siku kidogo na wakimaliza na siku kidogo waende nyumbani hawa hakuna wameenda so hapo hivi natakana serikali ifikirie sana mzee wengi wanajiuliza umekaa hapa miaka ngapi kwanza 
Mimi nimekaza hivi mwaka 30. Yeah. Yeah. Nguvu zimeanza kukuisha hauna ile ari na bidii ya kufanya kazi. Yeah. Bado utaendelea kukapa. Nitaendelea. Nitaendelea yeah. sababu hakuna kitu ya kukula tumbo iko. Niko na hata kama watoto walitoka lakini majukuu naye iko. Lazima nitafutie hao. Naam. Mm. Asante sana. Wacha tuongee na huyu mtu wa mwisho hapa Yvonne. My brother unaitwa nani? Uko Mimi. na mipango yote ya kustaafu? Je, umeanza kupangia kustaafu? Mimi kwa majina ni Felix Sochin Asewe. Bwana Chemwadwa, tuko na shida ambayo unaona huyu mzee chairman hana hata mpango yoyote. Kwa sababu sasa hii mzee huyu anafaa kuwa retired. Anafaa kuwa nyumbani akikula mali yake. Lakini hakuna sekta ya jua kali wametuchukulia hatua ya kutusaidia. Kwa sababu huyu mzee ukimwangalia afai kukaa hapa bado anagonga chuma. Anafaa kuwe mahali anakula pesa yake pole pole. Lakini hatuna hiyo. Soso kitu tunajaribu kuuliza serikali. Upande ya sekta ya jua kali mnatusaidia namna gani? Kwa sababu hata mimi sijui wakati wa ustaafu kwangu itakuja kula nini Nam, nam sasa tunauliza asante mzee kama huyu ni chairman wetu wa jiwakali please mtamsaidia namna gani apate kupata kitu naam naam e, asante ya asante ivona as you have heard from them clearly is a, a clear indicator that uh, there are no plans for them yes. to retire and they are not even thinking about it but it's a challenge for them especially young men whom we have talked to and they are now seeing an example of their chairman in this uh, juakali maybe they can start saving a bit and also they are asking the government maybe just to put aside money for them as they continue they just want to be recognized because they are doing a lot this sector alone even has employed thousands of Kenyans and a, a single person like the mzee we have talked to he has said that he has trained over a hundred youth who are now working here but he is now becoming helpless and hopeless going home and he don't know when he is going home so even is a matter of discussion and indeed a wide one back to you I agree. <laughs> indeed one whenever it is uh, a mother of a discussion fred you wanted to say something about them because it seems like they have no options but you say they do i mean they, they have a serious option uh -huh. star 237 hash and you are able to log you are able to sign up online straight i mean on your phone whether you have a mulika mwizi or whatever phone you are and you are able to save even if it's 20 shillings even if it's 10 shillings per day or per hour or per week you get it it's, you, you see the, the thing is this is is, uh, is uh, if we can be able to get those associations, like now that old man has train, is training 30 people, uh -huh. we get those 30 people and train them and help them to understand that saving is important. It's not necessarily the amount you save, it's, it's a culture. Yes. It's a culture. Right. So start with 20 shillings a day, start with 20 shillings a week. You get it? And then start building it up. If you are starting to do your career at 25 or at 30 years old, yeah. and you are saving 20 shillings a day, yeah. you are going to be saving 600 shillings, a, 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 around 600 shillings a month. month. Yeah. You get it? That is, if, that's year, like 10%. that's what, 7,200, and Absolutely. then if you, you know. Then now you compound it with interest. Right. This person is going to get good money at the end of the, at the, end of the day. So it's not the issue of, um, of uh, of uh, of platforms they are, we can provide platforms for them uh, they can have an, and and if I, away from that i have talked about this before Yvonne, that if you go to the uk the uk pension schemes are structured around around associations around unions uh -huh. you get it where you have a union of, of of employees the union is one which has a pension scheme and all employees serve to the union we have a union as a farmers association in the uk which has a huge pension fund farmers who who farm and they sell their produce they are able to save for their retirement now we need this in the in the country uh, to have those organized organizations mm. like now they are, they and there's Juakali Juakali associations. associations we've seen the border border association absolutely we've seen quite absolutely a we have approached these organizations some of them are just a bit political mm. is that they don't have the interest of their members at heart what they want is to get their 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 contribution and they go away but ideally if we work having members our, our members at heart the association should be able to organize so that we are able to give them a platform for them to save for their retirement absolutely. wherever they are and whatever time they have. Absolutely.